Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to uh, the People's Republic of Sweden or whatever. Uh, what is happening? Well, we are in 1948, and it was quite embarrassing last episode when I thought the game would end. I kept talking about it as if we were at the very end, and then suddenly it didn't end. Um, however, now we're going to settle in for the final push. I think I'll pretty much, you know, just help out... Uh, the Soviets and the Spaniards to sweep out some na naval invasions in Europe and I'll just sit tight, build up an air force, watch the world burn and then of course just um, yeah just uh, let the Soviets do everything because they are the <laughs> they just have let's check out how many divisions they have now 554 right and 389 factories that's pretty insane let's check out the British uh, power here uh, much, much less. What about here? Oh my god, the Americans. Okay. Don't underestimate the USA, right? <laughs> oh wow. Uh, but I think... I think the Soviet Union does uh, stand the chance of uh, conquering or prevailing. Guatemala joined the Allies. Why? Just, just because? You, it's not like you're under threat. Um, so that was rather odd. I don't think you're any threat anyway, so whatever. There we go. The British Raj has capitulated. Um, though the war against the re remains of the Allies remains of the Allies continues, right? Because uh, well, there are, we're, we're almost assuming that there aren't many left. But um, yes, this is a great victory for all of the common turn. Lovely. So, where will they move their troops now? That is the question. Okay, we'll take the rest of France. I'm hoping that taking uh, Hat Yai might actually push Japan right over the edge because they are 99% of the way to surrendering and it would just be so nice if they did. Holy shit, we actually finished the, the whole production tech tree. Um, Alright, let's push down into decryption here just for, because I mean, what else do I need to research? There, There's very little I, I uh I mean, actually, I haven't really figured out the whole... I, I should have probably been doing radar and decryption and stuff before. Um, and using recon, com uh, rec uh, recon companies uh, or support on my divisions, but... Oh well, not this time. Ooh, American invasion in the east. Interesting. Uh, why don't they finish off the Japanese, please? And yes, I've got a, I, I know I've got a bunch of political power just sitting around. But, yeah, that's just how it is. Brazil is just about to pass over 50% communism, so uh, maybe they will turn to our cause. Although, just because they turn communist, for example, like uh, Argentina here, doesn't mean that they join our faction. Uh, I think they pretty much have to feel that they're under threat, and, yeah, if they're attacked, they'll probably join. All right, you know what? Let's go down the nuclear uh, path here. I don't think we'll be able to get the nuke before the end of the game, but uh, whatever. I just have to put put research into something, right? It's funny because the Americans have a bunch of troops in China, but they can't actually move in since uh, military access doesn't mean you know offensive access. The the Chinese are not in the same faction. I think the plan was that oh, we'll land our troops and then. Uh, once we touch borders, we're gonna just flush all these divisions into the assault, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. Saigon will fall very soon. How many points is this? Only three victory points. Okay. I put our nation on free trade, but that's not working very well for resources, so I'm gonna go back to export focus. Actually, you know what? Let's go closed economy. I, I don't care anymore. The mighty Swedish uh, divisions come in to aid the defense of the French coast and of course we totally crushed them because we we just like sm put all our troops here in one stack and just like march right through god damn Japanese please surrender in my li like everyone's lives the allies this the common turns lives ev everything would just be so much easier if you just gave up I think uh, the Benelux region, I mean, this area must be terrible to live in. Just uh, every day, like, uh, the hundreds, thousands of planes whiz above your head and they 
keep fighting and the battle never ends, day and night. Singapore is not really falling, I mean there's a big crossing there. Uh, and over here in um, in the China, French into the China, or Soviet into China, into China rather, uh, we have some American troops that just decided to land in uh, the northern part, and I think a bunch of the troops that were stationed in China just decided to flush over there. Uh, these guys are still here on the border, which is worrying, to say the least. Um, actually, let's improve relations with China. The thing is, Japan, just Japan is still around. Like, I can't believe that those things, they are just holding on. Can't they see? They've lost. They've lost. Okay. Can they... It's a, it's a whole new world order that's enveloping. Maybe, maybe he thinks like, oh, maybe they'll kill each other, you know, and then I'll sweep in and pick up the remains. And I guess that's a valid uh, idea there. The Americans keep trying to land here, but, you know, it's not, just not gonna happen. Meanwhile, in Africa, I feel like uh, the Soviet troops and Spain I mean, Spain isn't actually doing anything here. Spain, like myself, is uh, just trying to hold off in Europe, protecting our great free republics. But, um, yeah, nice push here. Ah, Mexican Socialist Republic was next. Well, too bad. Too bad. There's nothing really happening. There's uh, this uh, tug of war, you know, back and forth, but in the African theater again, we're making advances. They keep trying to land some troops on the back, uh, including here in India and like uh, Burma, Myanmar. Um, uh, Singapore has fallen. Maybe I show that. I don't know. And I think yeah, I showed them trying to capture it, but. Um, that is that. Sorry for the lag, it's just I have it on pause because I'm impatient. Now, there's a lot of weird things going on in China because um, there's a bu there were a bunch of American troops that pretty much walked around as I showed like this. And there are also a lot of Soviet troops walking around and they, there's just like these battles in the middle of nowhere. Or in the middle of China that's not involved in, in the war. And it's rather odd because it doesn't actually form a proper front and people run out, out of supply really fast. It's uh, really rather strange. Ah, those bastards. I, I liberated them and they're sending volunteer troops to uh, the communist states of America. I'm still rather confused about, you know, us making the US communist and then them just continuing the war against us. We'll just have to pretend that since uh, we'll pretend that Sweden was uh, a Trotsky uh, outhold and they turned but then they realized oh shit we're, uh, the, uh, Stalin won't like this so uh, they allied and then when they started spreading the message out in the Americas they s spread the Trotskyist message or it's Trotskyite message uh, but of course they aren't really very keen on collaborating with Stalin. So I'm pretty much the Comintern version of the United Kingdom. Of course, they probably have more divisions since they control more land abroad. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I mean, technically, if they have the, on the lower end, we actually almost have uh, as much or even more, if I can count properly. Um, however, the the Americans are still. They still surpass the Soviets by quite a nice margin. However, factory-wise, it's not really that many more. It's just that number of divisions, uh, navies, airplanes, and so on. Look at this. Just look at the estimated air forces. Oh my god. 33... Imagine if it's 33,000. That's insane. But actually, during the, uh, the war, I think, the US produced over... Uh, 100,000 planes in one year of one particular type. It was just crazy. It's just the uh, American production, since it wasn't really bombed at all, just could uh, rumble on. Now, these battles are rather odd, because I keep attacking, right? And uh, the, I keep winning, but I don't... Like, the battle doesn't end, and they don't get any damage, apparently. I don't get any battle report in the end. So, it seems like both sides retreat for some reason. 
Uh, and this just goes on back and forth like this f forever, pretty much. Nuclear bomb! Although, I mean, it's July 49, so I don't think we're going to be seeing that. I was hoping the Soviets would uh, actually use something of the sort, and I imagine the Americans already uh, unlocked that, so... Hmm, I wonder why they haven't used it. The French have capitulated. Well, I th feel like they capitulated a long time ago, but... Yeah, alright. I think it's uh, since we captured something here in the African region. Um, nice. However, I still can't believe and no one has done anything about the Japanese, especially like the Americans, British, and the Chinese. Like, the Chinese have been invading the these islands, right? Why don't you just finish them off? It's just one more island and they're gone, okay? Please. Oh wait, the French capitulated. And they had some territory here, and now it's Italian. What? Our boost party popularity in Brazil stagnated. I think I showed you this before, but it keeps wavering, like just between 50.01 to 0 0.02. Uh, so it just goes back and forth. That's why we're staging a coup. I'm hoping it. it I, I think a coup always breaks out in the Civil War, right? Uh, but we'll see. You just gotta love the Swiss, all, like all along throughout this entire war, you know, Nazis, fascists, communists, allies, the Swiss have just been standing there like, oh, yeah, hey, and uh, now they're totally surrounded by Soviet troops, but they, they're still like, oh, okay, right, whatever, we're uh, minding our own thing. Volkemet succeeded to stage a coup in Brazil, the fire of revolution now burns. Uh, the Brazilian Socialist Republic declared war on Brazil. Right, so I set out this state here because I couldn't get some or any closer state. And this one does have a port and all, so we'll just uh, have to hope that they succeed. I don't know what... Uh, let's give them something. I mean, we're not very far away from the end of the game, though. Uh, let's give them some uh, jet tact... no, jet fighters. MK2. Let's give them uh, 20 of them. No, 30. Yeah. Once. And we'll give them uh, 600. No, 400 heavy tanks. And maybe. Ooh. Wait. A super heavy tank. Ooh. Let's give them. No, 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 no. Let's give them some light tanks. Let's give them 200 of those. What about equipment? I don't know. Uh, just take the rest of these. Four, f f was, was it 400 and something? Uh, I can't. Did it say 452? 452. Once. And that's about it. Well, they didn't stand much chance. They rebelled in October, and now it's December, and they fell. Well... That was unfortunate. Now, this is a big battle. Uh, somehow I felt like, oh, you know, let's engage the British here. And look at that. Oh my god, are we winning? I feel like we're winning. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, of course, their fleet is much larger, but in total numbers, we did totally okay. Okay. Our heavy cruisers are pretty special to us, because in terms of production, they take, uh, yeah, one point, uh, about two of them per year, so that's like three years of worth, worth of production right there. Now, as for the submarines, we produced, yeah, that's two months of production, and here, that's about less than a year, uh, year's worth of production, so... That's a pretty decent battle. I don't know how long it took the U.S. to produce these. I imagine not long at all, but... Um, well, that's nice. Now, I do believe this is the end, I hope. Um, we've had a glorious run. I do think we have uh, won over the Allies in terms of just land mass and production. Although, the U.S. again is just uh, insane at producing things. Um... However, they seem to have lost a lot of divisions. Look at that. They had a thousand. Now they only have between 300 
to 683. Unless we become better at uh, actually finding out how much it is they have, which we have. Um, and production-wise, I think we we beat them now. Because the Soviets have 354. And that minimum, the United States has... Oh yeah, we already looked through this before, but... Oh well. Now, uh, South America didn't become com all commentary as I had imagined. Uh, they're still very neutral, even socialist Argentina, or Argentina, and they are helping out the Allies, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but oh well, that is the way the things, the things are. Ac the Axis is still there, and I think that's part of the reason why the war is just taking so long, because... Um, the war between the Allies and the Axis broke out before the, or sorry, Allies and the Comintern broke out before the Axis had surrendered, and so it became kind of annoying. But, oh well, let's unpause and just uh, see where this gets us. I'm hoping that the game ends now. <laughs> no, it, I'm not just hoping, it's just, uh, I imagine it ends now. Unless it continues forever, that would be really weird. Is it, uh... What? Why hasn't it ended? Well, 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 it does seem like the game is gonna continue. I'm, uh, I don't know what you think. I, I, it's good, because uh, I guess it means we have to defeat the Axis at least, and then maybe the Allies, but... Um, yeah, this uh, may take a while. Alright, screw it. We're gonna end this particular episode here. I know it's a bit early, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go out to a party. I've, uh, I thought it would end in 1950. God damn it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm happy and sad at the same time. And to anyone watching in the future when, uh, the no when we all know when the actual end date is, uh, don't complain. I mean, the, it's, there's, I searched up the end date on the forums or, like, the official end date on Google. And no one could give me an answer. It was just uh, 1948 for the most part, and it's, it was even on the official wiki uh, that uh, it was just assumed that it, was, it would be 1948. However, I think people forgot that maybe they added something in to uh, prevent an end screen until uh, one, at least the Axis, had been defeated. I imagine it is the Axis that needs to be defeated, not the Allies. Or, I mean, we, maybe we could defeat the allies first but whatever um i'll be seeing you later don't forget to leave a like it really helps the channel out uh share with your friends as always this has been game babster farewell